Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Summoner. Well, let's head on over and uh, take on the boss. Something that is kind of weird regarding boss fights in Summoner, uh, you cannot pre-buff. For whatever reason, the game doesn't let you. Uh, it will remove any buffs that were placed upon you before a cutscene. I'm guessing it does this so that you can't take advantage of pre-buffing time like you can in, say, Final Fantasy XII. Oh well. By the way, I picked up the Resurrect spell from uh, putting those points in the heal last time at the end of the previous episode. It's a revive spell, but it only revives you to 1 HP. So, it is good, but just be aware that you're going to have to immediately heal that character. Okay, let's take on the boss. Now, something I'm doing for those cutscenes is I'm increasing the decibel volume of, or increasing the decibel level of the uh, gameplay audio so that you can hear voice acting better. Not that there was voice acting in that scene, but uh, that's what I've been doing. So, you can let me know if that works for you or not. Anyway, if you just stand here, okay, usually they don't all charge you, but yeah, usually if you just stand there, just the iron golem will come after you. And, uh, yeah, the Iron Golem is the same Iron Golems that I could have fought in that encounter, but you're not meant to fight them until now. Uh, it's a, well, it's essentially a boss that will become a normal enemy later on in the game. But, uh, anyway, it's strong against fire, ice, pierce, and slash. It's vulnerable to blunt attacks and weak to energy attacks. I don't have energy, I don't have blunt. Uh, I recommend rushing in, trying to get a protect off. Chain attacks will not work here because those tentacles are designed to interrupt your chain attacks. I'm going to put regenerate on Joseph. And uh, now spam the crap out of Meteor Storm. Yeah, he resists it. But it's still totally better than any other form of damage that you can do. I mean, look at that. I mean, if all four of those hit, that's a good 80 damage. So, I don't care that he resists it. I can annihilate these guys... Easily. I think the Broken Brass Golem resisted as well, but again, I don't care. I can just spam the crap out of it and decimate these guys before I run out of AP. But yeah, that's what I mean about, um, you know, I don't need to get like a quarter staff to deal with these guys. And that's why I wanted to be level 9, so that I had Meteor Storm, so that I could annihilate this guy. There we go, and I accidentally Meteor Stormed myself, but that's okay. And the tentacles will deal with themselves after the boss is dead, for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, that's... that's all there is to it. Just... Well, I kind of glitched out there a little bit, I think, but holstering my weapon. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. <laughs> just spam Meteor Storm. It's just a really good spell. We have one more enemy left. And one final chest here, a frozen club. It is an ice elemental. Ice elemental, uh. Mace. Uh, I'd use it if it was blunt elemental, but, no, well, it's not. And, uh, you can use, uh, freeze charges on it. Uh, freeze is a spell that will paralyze an enemy, essentially. I'm never gonna use that, but. I mean, I might use the freeze spell. In fact, I will use the freeze spell. But I'm not going to use the, uh, Frozen Club. There we go. Work on a little bit of Fleece's Chain Attacks. Who I'll be working on next. Now that I've defeated the boss, let's go ahead and save here. And that was the last chest, so let's just enter the palace. Now, I did it out this loading screen, but uh, I do want to explain that effectively there is a stealth section coming up. I will be saving constantly in case I screw up. You don't have to do that, 
Uh, all you have to do is keep redoing it. If you really can't do this next part, if you fail enough times, you can get uh, servant equipment for Fleece, and that will let you bypass all the guards. It's the only way to get that equipment, but that equipment is not very good anyway. If you do get the servant's clothes, there will be an experience penalty. Instead of getting 700 experience for Fleece at the end of this quest, you'll only get 200 experience for her. I recommend against it. I think the experience is more important than pieces of armor you are never going to use. Now, who are you looking for, Joseph? Well, he's looking for Yago. Yeah, right. So, Fleece is looking for an amulet. We'll want to find that. <laughs> yeah, she's going to steal it. So before we go any further, there is a recovery drought and an amethyst. There's the amethyst. But there's going to be a recovery drought, up uh, or drought, or however you pronounce that, somewhere around here. I think it's actually through the wall here. I know what you're thinking. How the hell can you go through the wall? Well, it's a very obvious secret passage. There we go. Head on up. Now, it is pretty hard to do this without getting caught, but I have done it before. Now, effectively, if you fail too many times, that guard right over there, he'll be gone. And you'll be able to uh, go in there, talk to a guy, get some food. That is a healing item that's almost completely useless. And in addition to that, you'll be able to get some uh, servant's armor that I was mentioning. I don't think that's worthwhile. Okay. So this is where we have to start being careful. Let's see if I can do this without having to reload. Probably not. So there's going to be another guard coming over towards me. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, I want to wait for him to actually go back into that room. Because I need to go that way. So I'm going to wait for him to come all the way back. I'm not going to edit this out because... I want you to see how I'm doing this, I guess. There's no really easy way to do this. You can't kill the guards or anything, and... Whoa. I didn't think that guy was... That's not the same guy, is it? Uh, let's... Go out, I guess. If I can make it. Uh... I seem okay right now. Uh oh. Hide. <laughs> yeah, let's just keep saving in case I screw up at some point. Alright, and now I want to head on out. Please don't turn around. There we go. Get out the damn door. Okay, now one of these doors... Yeah, those doors that are completely black inside, you can't go in there. And you can't pick the lock, there's no way to access them. Uh-oh! Um... Crap. Uh... Please... Please turn around, thank you. Let's go ahead and save again. <laughs> yeah, you have... Not a lot of leeway here. Um, I want to go in this room, I think. No, I want to go in the last room in the hallway. 
I need that guy to uh, go the other way. Well, actually, there we go. We get an archer's ring. It uh, boosts your bow weapon skill by one. I will actually put that to use later. Be careful of that guy by the door. Alright, here we go. Now we can go upstairs. I believe there is an item in this room. Yes, we can examine the dresser around here. Right there. I guess it's more of a piano, huh? Actually, what the hell is that thing? I don't know. Just examine it. A table, I guess. Okay. So, we gotta be really careful. We wanna exam advance to the room across this hallway. But we need to be careful because there's going to be guards all around. I believe that guy... I think another guy will walk over here. So, is it this room? I think it's this room. Oh, huh. yeah, there is a guy right there. Okay, I thought so. Will we get a fire arrow track that'll cast the fire arrow spell. I never really use those battle items. You could, but uh, the ice coffin one is pretty decent. It's supposed to be uh, an amethyst around here. There it is. All right, now that we've done that, let's save again. So we want to go from that starting room. We want to go to the left twice. So we want to go where that guard is walking, unfortunately. Uh-oh, he's coming back. As soon as he passes me, I will... Hopefully that's good enough. Okay, let's head on over here. For a cutscene. I am the king of Medivh. Show yourself, intruder, or I will summon the guard. How is it you don't recognize me, Belius? By the blood of Urath. I am haunted by ghosts. Haunted by the living, your majesty. Why have you come? What do you want from me? I come only to whisper in your ear. Impossible. This cannot be true. I have journeyed too far to lie to you. Enough! You are nothing but a ghost, a phantom. You have said your piece. Now go! You have aged, Pelias. You are now an old man. Our paths have crossed for the last time. No, it cannot be. <laughs> How did she not see Fleece walking out that door? Now we get Yago's key here, um... We can't open that door, unfortunately. Now there is an item in there. How do we get it? By using one of the very many bugs in the game. You're supposed to come back to get it, but whatever. It's convenient to get it now, and that's what I want to do. Okay, good. He's going the other way, so I should be able to just walk up and get it. Yeah, I can get it through the wall. I know, it's a bug. Uh-oh! Yeah, see, if you get caught, that's what happens. And then Joseph makes fun of you. And it's apparently amusing, but... I don't care to show off his dialogue, and it takes forever to get back up there. So let's just reload. I forgot that there was a second guard that comes. There's no real penalty for that. But uh, it is annoying, and it's much faster to reload than it is to go out of your way. 
to get the ability or to uh, head all the way back up there manually. Okay. That guy is going. Let's see if I can actually do this quickly. I want to go back to Bellius' room. Come on. Yes. Made it. Okay. Let's save again. So, now we want to go actually where that guard came from. So, let's go left. And then let's take a right. Now, this time we have to pick the lock. Eventually, this room will not be... Well, you won't be able to come in here later. So, you have to do this now. Which is odd, because there's actually going to be another item in here later. We get Jan's amulet, that's the amulet she was looking for, and the amethyst. Well, another amethyst. But yeah, there'll be an item, like, right here. And... You have to use that bug to get that item. Because you can't come back into this room. I don't quite understand that, but that's the way it works. Very, very odd. But now we want to go out and take a right. We should be in the clear. I think there's one more guard that we might have to avoid. That's Iago's room. We want to go over to the next room. And grab 500 gold. Yes, that is correct. And let's get out of here and head back over here. Just got to watch out for that last guard that's patrolling right there. He's pretty easy to avoid. And uh, now we just have to talk to Iago. Now, if you want the servants clothes, you need to do it now. Once you talk to Iago, that's it. You can't get them. They only have one defense. They're not good at all. <laughs> So, I don't care. I'd rather take the 700 experience. You get penalized by only being able to get 200 experience if you do it with the servant's clothes. But all the guards will ignore you. They'll just be like, Oh, you're not supposed to be here, servant, but whatever. Basically, it's not that amusing. Got a message from Joseph. He's in the storeroom below the kitchen. Snuck in, obviously. Huh. Remember this conversation for later, I suppose. Oh, we learned the sneak ability. And so the guards were dispatched to find Joseph in the cellar of the palace. And meanwhile, Fleece and I proceeded to the great hall to wait for Joseph. There the king's vassals were gathering for the war council. At last, my protege and I were reunited. We found this lad in the cellar. That will be all. Well, Joseph, truly the forces of destiny are at work. I feared you wouldn't come. Yeah, the palace guards sure didn't make it easy. How did you become the prince's counselor? Oh, so just kind of favor, huh? I guess call it whatever you want, Joseph. Yeah, what did you do to Parad? Did you... I don't know. What, did you prevent him from getting his mail or something? What did you do? Did you punch the guy in the face? Well, ironically, Joseph would just be a farmer if Murad didn't try to come after him. Kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy if you think about it, but whatever. Yeah, we got rid of that ring. Oh, we found the ring from the well, huh? Well, that's odd. I wonder how we found it. Yeah, how did you find it? Oh. 
So you'll tell us later. Okay. I'm sure it's nothing too important anyway. Probably just climb down the well or something. Oh, so he's just older now and can control it. Yeah, guess we gotta save the world, huh? Or at least these two kingdoms. Oh, so now we want to go find Abbot Larat. So we have to find three more rings, huh? We need all four, okay. How do you know this? Oh, you were once a monk, huh? What do you mean? You sacrificed what? Huh. Yeah, we received the Ring of Darkness, so... Effectively, we can summon now. So, if you go to hit the square button, you can select summon. Can't summon in a town, but we can summon Blackfire Elemental. He sucks, but he's better than not having any summon. Summons are effectively another party member that we can utilize to our advantage. And you can even control them, so it's pretty cool. They're useful. You do lose a small amount of maximum HP for Joseph, but it's negligible. It's totally worth the extra DPS and the extra bit of uh, damage to go around, really, just in general. You know, more targets for the enemies to hit. Plus they have, you know, different abilities. But I want to equip that Ring of Darkness right away. Because when you equip a summoning ring, you get more experience for it. Uh, you still gain experience for it when you don't have it equipped. But in order to learn the second summon, except for the Ring of Darkness, this one is an exception. But you need, uh, I think it's 50,000 experience. It's 50 or 60, I forget. But you need a lot of experience in order to learn the second summon. So I want to go ahead and equip it so it gets more experience. If you leave it unequipped, it will still gain experience, but it's negligible. You really need to have them equipped to gain a decent amount of experience. It's also based on the summon level. The more summon points you have, the more experience you get, but there's no reason to put any points into it. You'll get plenty of experience as you go. Um, anything else I want to go over? There was one other thing, and I can't remember what the hell it was. That sneak ability, uh, it lets you sneak around without being heard. It effectively makes it so that your sound will not give your position away. So, like, when I was trying to sneak up on that Besite, with the sneak ability, it would actually work. You also automatically go into solo mode when you use it. Hide makes you completely invisible to all enemies, but you cannot move. There's only one time where those abilities are useful, really. Sneak is debatably useful at other times, but... Not so much, uh... Hide. Hide's really only useful once. This lady has some uh, interesting dialogue, so I figured I'd show it off. What about Prince Sornahan? Oh, that's weird. Guess maybe the queen's really in charge. Yeah, just some interesting dialogue from backstory. Now, I do want to do some more preparations. Essentially, I want to buy some things. So, you know what? Let's save because I don't want to have to do that again. Yeah. We have to go to the Linnell Palace Plaza. If you didn't get any of the items in the palace, you know, if you didn't get them all with fleece, I would do that now, because eventually those items will be replaced with different items. I remembered as I was editing this, what I wanted to talk about. The Dark Ring, if you equip it on Joseph, it will give him plus two to dark. He hasn't learned that ability yet. Do not invest any points into it until Joseph learns that ability. If you do, those points are wasted when he learns the ability. Because it resets it to one. It's a really bad bug. Oh, another thing about summoning is if Joseph dies while the summon monster is out, the summon will turn against you. That is really bad, so don't let that happen. Don't let Joseph die with a summon out. Uh, another thing is that the instruction manual says that if a summon dies, the maximum HP that was given to the summon from Joseph, because Joseph actually sacrifices some of his HP to do so, will be gone forever. 
That is a lie. I don't know why that's in the instruction manual. As far as I know, that is not true in either the PS2 version. I know it's not true in the PS2 version. And I don't think it's true in the PC version either, so I don't know where that came from. If they die, you'll get your HP back. Different summons require different amounts of maximum HP from Joseph. You can only have one summon out at a time, by the way, unless you use a bug that really glitches out the graphics of the game, so don't do that. Plus, it will usually just freeze your game, so yeah, not a good idea. Okay, I got some shopping to do, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, by the way, the guards in the castle will completely ignore you now, so you're free to explore it at your leisure. There's no other items, though, than what I found. I want to do some shopping here at the Crown District and in the outskirts. How much money do I have? Inventory? Is that how I see it? I forget. Yeah, I got like 3,000. That's plenty. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. Now, I want to buy the high leather boots for later. I want to buy the leather gloves. Not leather gauntlets, I want to buy leather gloves. Evidently, this shop does not sell it. Okay. I want to buy a quilted robe. And... Not... I don't think it's silk gloves. No, I think it's leather gloves. They must be at the other store. Excuse me? Can I get out? Thank you. Yeah, over here. If you guys want, I can post uh, shopping lists in the uh, video description as well. I've actually started writing them. There they are, leather gloves. We'll want them for a party member a little bit later. Now, you could buy silk breeches, which would be legging armor for that character. But we're going to get a free one from uh, Serval's game quest. But I don't want to hand it in yet. I want to be able to get experience for that third character. Okay, let's keep going. Oh yeah, you can talk to Maddox the Baker and give him more money if you want to throw money away. You don't get anything out of it. There's a lot of interesting NPCs you could talk to in the castle, and if it's your first time playing, I recommend talking to them. You get uh, a lot of interesting backstory about the king and the queen and the war effort but i don't really want to go over every single npc there's a lot of npcs that have interesting things to say in the game but i figured you can just talk to them on your own besides i'm running out of time for this episode and i really do want to make sure that i can he uh, start heading to iona on the next episode okay one more shop I could hand in the amulet to Drago over here, but again, I don't want to. Because I want to get some experience for the third character. You see, the next dungeon has a lot of undead enemies. And even though they're harder than the enemies in the sewers, they give horrendous experience. So, yeah, undead do not give good experience. Enemies do actually kind of scale, at least on the world map they do. But the undead never give very good experience, no matter what. But I want to buy a war club for Joseph. Unfortunately, I cannot equip it yet. Uh, I could buy a crossbow, but I can buy that in the next town. Yeah, I can't quite equip it yet. It requires a blunt skill. And Joseph, unfortunately, does not have the blunt skill yet. I think he gets it at level 12? My goal is to have that before I go into the next dungeon, because the undead are weak to blunt attacks. And I don't want to use this really weak short sword anymore. Uh, the war club is actually a really good weapon. It's uh, going to be very useful for us for quite some time. So yeah, we'll just uh, head on out into the world map, and uh, then we'll call it quits. Okay, so we're here on the world map. Next time we'll be heading to Iona, it's uh, over to the east. 
and uh, it'll be quite a long trek. I'll probably get into multiple random encounters that I'll probably edit out. But uh, I would recommend using the random encounters to work on Fleece's chain attacks. Or Joseph's if he still hasn't learned all of his. But uh, yeah, I'm going to save here. So I'll be going on a little bit of a break while uh, I'm busy next week. And uh, I'll probably return the following week with more Summoner episodes. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.